Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well video tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher. Today we're going to do something slightly differently. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install Docker Machine on a Linux Ubuntu desktop. The reason why I want to do this is because I want to set up multiple Docker machines holding various containers such as Redmine and Jenkins and Bitbucket and so forth. When I try to do this using the documentation that I've got in front here, um, I had some errors. So I'm going to uh, talk you through how to install Docker Machine to a Ubuntu uh, system via the command line. And when I get to those errors, I'll explain what those errors mean and how to get around them. So these are the documentations. This is the documentation that you can find at docs.docker.com forward slash machine. I'll provide a link to this in the description below. And the bit we're interested in, if I scroll down a little bit, we can see if you are using OS X or Linux. So they've given us some commands that we need to run on the terminal. I'll just explain what these commands do. So we're providing, a, we're issuing a curl request here, curl minus L, to the, uh, the github.com site. And we're going to pull the Docker machine binary. We're also going to supply some bits and pieces and requirements based on the, um, the Linux distribution that we're using. So in this case, it's going to be Ubuntu. Um, we're then streaming that download to um, use a local bin. So that's the directory that you've got on the, the Ubuntu system, on the Linux system. And we're we're going to put that to docker-machine. Uh, um, we're also going to do something else on the next line. And if I scroll that way, we can see that we're going to chmod uh, plus x, which means that we're going to give um, the user local bin docker machine that we've just downloaded executable rights. Now that's plus X means that we're going to give executable rights to the current user. Okay, so as I said, when I did this, I had a couple of issues. I came across an error. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that into the terminal, which, um, so this is the, you, I've SSH'd into a uh, Ubuntu um, box that I've got in the office. And if I was to paste that in and press enter, we can see the error here. So we're saying that, uh, user local bin docker machine, we've got a permission denied. So what does that actually mean? Well, it means that the user local bin, the directory, obviously has um, a different uh, user credentials permissions um, that the Peter user, the, the user that I've logged in as, actually has. So the user Peter, the current user that I am, does not have permission to put docker machine into this directory. And we can test that out. I'll, I'll just do an ls minus al into user local bin. Uh, so ls minus l will get the user permissions of that directory. So let's, um, not just the user permissions, I should say, also group permissions. So permissions overall of that directory. So let's hit enter and we can see that we've got, so these are the, um, this is the permission uh, these are this column here is the user and that's the root uh, sorry and that's the group so we can see that this um, this directory has root and uh, sorry user and group permissions of root so only root can access uh, this uh, this directory and that is why we're getting the permission denied error so what we need to do is we need to modify the permissions for user local bin to allow this user, allow the Peter user, the user that you're logged in as, to um, uh, change and alter this directory to add things to this directory. We do this using sudo um, chorn uh, minus r because we want to do it recursively and we're going to issue the who am I command. Now that's going to get the, uh, the current user that you're logged in as. Um, and we're going to tell it to do that to user, local, and bin. Okay, so just to recap, we're doing this as a sudo user, so this is going to request my password. We're doing a chorn, which will change the ownership. Um, we're doing it recursively. We're doing it based on the current user that I am, so that's who I am. And we are applying all of that to user local bin. So after this, we're going. These permissions will change to the current user. So let's run that. Of course, it asks for a password, so I'm going to type that in. 
OK. So now if I just go up a bit, we can run that again. <clears throat> and we can see that we've changed the, uh, the parent directory, um, well, the user local bin directory, uh, to have the user um, of Peter. So that used to be root, so root above there. And after we're issuing that command, we've changed it to the current user that I am. OK, so let's run the curl again and see what we get. So let's go up a bit, and it was this command here. Um, and let's run that. We can see now that the curl is running. We're downloading it. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. It could take a bit of time. No, that's done. OK, so let's go back to the docs and scroll down. We don't need to worry about that again because it's this is um, Windows. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, and this checks that the Docker machine is installed. So we need to run Docker uh, hyphen machine version. Okay, let's clear the screen and run Docker hyphen machine. So we can see that we've got it because if I did a tab, we can see that that, that it's in. And we're just going to type in version, and we can see that we've downloaded Docker machine, and we've got the version here. And now again, I can just do Docker machine and let's just type in help and we can get the help text from docker machine okay so that's a, a quick demonstration of how to get around the user permissions when uh, installing docker machine on a linux ubuntu desktop i hope that's helped um, thanks again and i'll speak to you all soon thank you for watching please click the like button if you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to get the next tutorial if you have any comments questions or queries then please leave them in the comments section below alternatively you can tweet them to my twitter handle which is pfwd thanks again and i'll see you soon